Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, <laughs> um, January 16th, I think. Uh, I haven't been on in a few days and I'm still pregnant. <laughs> still, I just uh, needed some days of not doing much of anything. I've been, um, they switched me from wind blood thinner to heparin and uh, I have been having a ton of side effects from the heparin. So I'm, I'll be really glad <laughs> when uh, I'm back off of that. So I've just been resting a lot the last um, while <laughs> and trying to get some crochet and things done. So yeah, and I got bags back there. That's what this video is about. <laughs> I finished the bags. I've been working on these bags for like two months very slowly <laughs> and they're finally all done. So I'm gonna be putting them in the shop tomorrow, which is Monday, January 17th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And these will be the last bags until probably March. The bird outside. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, cause I will be having the baby in at least a week, into a week and a half. And, um, then I'll be busy <laughs> recovering from that and, uh, dealing with the newborn. So these are going to be the last bags for a while. So I'm going to show them to you. And like I said, they're going to be in the shop tomorrow, Monday, uh, January 17th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So there's going to be seven, um, zipper notion pouches. So there's three with some flowers on them. They're quilted. So they're smooshy. They got batten on them and they are lined. I lined all my bags. Um, they're just little notion pouches for everything. There's one with this floral print. There's one with like chicken wire animals. <laughs> and then there's two with this bee print on it. These are just scraps that I've had forever and I'm trying to just use them up. Or I was and then, you know, I got nine months pregnant and it got hard to do everything. <laughs> And then there's gonna be 20 uh, hook pouches. And these are the ones, I know a lot of people's asked how, what they are and all that. So these, they're this big. <laughs> and they have a snap closure on them, which you squeeze with your, um, your hand <laughs> and it opens. So you put your hooks down in there, your little scissors, whatever. And then when you let go of it, it just snaps shut. That's why it's called snap closure. Uh, I wouldn't recommend these for people who have arthritis because you do have to squeeze it with your hand. It's not a hard thing to do, but um, you know, with arthritis, it would be hard. Or if you have any other thing that makes it hard for you to squeeze your hand. But yeah, they're a good size. They, um, pretty much every hook I've ever used fits in these and scissors also. Um, I use a lot of hooks with polymer clay handles. They fit in here. I have a furls hook, it fits in here. Uh, maybe, you know, obviously not Afghan hooks, <laughs> but um, all the average ones, I think it's about eight inches right there. This one I made it a little bit bigger than I normally do. So it might be closer to nine inches um, space. So there's gonna be two of these green ones, two purple swirly ones. These are also quilted, so they're smushy. Two with uh, blue stars, two alpacas or llamas. I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> two of this uh, leaf one, I like this one a lot. Two of this brown one, it's got like a country star on it. Two of this print. Two of this pretty sunflower print with butterflies. And then there's four cows, because <laughs> I had a little bit more cow um, fabric. So. so those are the hook cases that will, or the hook pouches that will be in the shop. <laughs> All right, last is some totes. I only made 10 totes because I didn't have a lot of supplies on hand. Fabric, and also I didn't want to make a ton of bags because <laughs> I've been tired the last like forever. But so there's two of each of these prints. Grab them off of here. All right, so there's, these are bigger totes. I don't put my ruler up, but I actually cut them bigger than I normally cut them. So these are actually bigger than I normally make them. But um, see, they're just pretty big. <laughs> so this is, this is a, like a, I guess it's a sunflower. It's like a vintagey looking print. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word. They're also quilted and they're lined because I always line my bags. I don't like unlined bags. They got handles, not super long, but not super short because it's, it's a little toe bag. It's not like a big giant toe that you would hang over your shoulder. Although you could, you know, but um, yeah, so there's two of those. The measurements will be on the listings. I just don't know them right off the top of my head. And then there's two of this print. I like this one a lot. This is like a train print with like newspaper clippings. I love trains. 
And it's got a darker handle. So there's gonna be two of those. And then Nicole's basket. And then there's two of these pretty little daisy print. I think those are daisies. <laughs> little floral print. Phew, I'm tired. Two of this print. This is just like a um it's like a ivory color diamond print. <laughs> it's really pretty. And then lastly, roosters, which are not always popular. Cute roosters. This some of these are like canvas prints, so they're thicker. So they're you know like thicker quality than just regular cotton. It is cotton, but it's canvas cotton. <laughs> it's made differently. And these are the hands for it. So two roosters. So that is all the bags I'll be going up in the shop tomorrow. And uh, the reason I'm gonna get the shop updated tomorrow <laughs> is because I might end up having a baby this week. So I need to get it updated early so that when they sell, I can go ahead and package them up real quick and get them out in the mail. Um, because I may be having a baby this weekend or next weekend. <laughs> I have to wait for my OB appointment tomorrow to figure out which weekend they're gonna do it on. So uh, it all depends on all the health issues and what's going on, you know. So I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> but I wanna get these bags up and gone and then I cleaned up my sewing area already because it's gonna be sitting here unused for a while and I wanted to have this space for other things in the meantime. But yeah, so those are the bags. They'll all be up tomorrow. I really like these hook cases. I have one of my, my own. I finally found it. I had lost it and then I found it the other day. They're just convenient and you can throw them down in a project bag. And then these ones, I use this kind myself. I have two of these that I use that I keep a lot of hooks in. <laughs> like I have one that has all my um, Susan Bate hooks in it and I have one that has all my Clover Amores in it and also keep a little tube of needles and usually a pair of scissors and some stitch markers and stuff all down in there so that I can grab it and go when I need it but yeah anyways they'll be up tomorrow I'll have a link down below for my shop if you don't already know where it's at uh yeah I guess that's it <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here because I'm gonna record another video real quick and uh, get it out today as well <laughs> so I will see you guys in that next video and also thought about vlogging tomorrow since it's LB appointment and they're always you know it's fun to vlog on those days <laughs> and then Tuesday will hopefully be a no kitchen episode Wednesday we watch work on Wednesday and then after that I don't know because it really depends on um what the doctor says <laughs> but I'll see you guys in a few more videos before uh, June comes so yeah bye guys